to another edition of the Sewing Guru. Now in this particular video I'm going to show you how to attach your collar onto the lapel of your waistcoat. Now as you've noticed on my waistcoat here I've already attached one side and left the other side because of course that's the side I'm going to be showing you how to construct this together. Now I'm working with a notch collar but the peak lapel is exactly the same. It attaches to this in the same way. Apart from of course that the peak lapel goes up like this but the collar will sit nicely next to the peak lapel. So like I say the collar parts will work with both styles. There's no difference at all. Now the collar sits on top of the lapel and just sits to the top of the shoulder point here and of course when you attach the lining it will disappear into the lining. So what I've done, as you can see, I've just constructed that just to show you what that is going to look like and how your collar should end up. So the first thing, what you need to do, now you might have already done this in a previous video but you need to of course print off the PDF file for the collar parts. Now do that and then you need to cut them out. Now as you can see they come in two parts. You've got the under collar and the top collar. Now the under collar is slightly larger than the top collar and of course you'll see why as when we are constructing it. So you need to cut out two of each part. So two top collars and two under collars so of course we're going to be working with a left and right and when you've done that fuse your pieces together and then we're ready to start okay so as you can see I've cut out my collar parts here and I've fused the underside of both of them so the first thing what you need to do is you need to mark where the notched part is of these collar parts. So just place your collar, collar parts onto the pattern like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put a pin. Let's get some pins here. Put a pin where it says notch. Just put a pin there. And you know that that is the side of the notched part. Okay. Now the notched part is the part, I'll just get my waistcoat here. The notched part is here. Okay, so this is the notched. So the notched part sticks out like that. And of course when the lapel is folded back, just move this out of the way. When the lapel's folded back like this, the notch will sit in there. Okay, so you've got this notch part here. Now, I'm just going to show you as well the peak lapel style. So this is the peak lapel style. This is the notch, and that will fit exactly in there. Okay, so you can see that it is the perfect size. Okay, the notch part sits in here and of course this peak lapel sticks up a little bit further. Okay, so you can see that this collar part fits exactly into this peak lapel as well. But of course I'm doing the notch collar for mine. So I can just discard that and we're going to now start attaching the collar parts onto our waistcoat. Now this here is the waistcoat as you can see I've got the front, you can see the pocket there and of course working with the notched part of the lapel here okay so the top part of the lapel of your waistcoat now this is the part we're going to be attaching in first of all now you need your top collar for this so the smallest part you're going to need for this and then the under collar which is larger will attach in a moment so our notched fits in there now, of course, like I say, when the lapel goes back like that, you need to have fabric showing like this. So the fusing will end up 
on the inside of your collar. So you need to turn over your waistcoat so that you can see the lining and place your collar into there. This is a notch part of the collar. Like so. Because this here is the inside, and like I say, this is what turns over, and of course you need to see the fabric part. Okay. So, you've got to have your notch collar facing this way, and this here will fit in there. So, you need to attach this on here like that. So let's just put a pin on there, like so. So this will attach there, and of course this part needs to be folded with the sew when, you, when you come to the sewing machine, and that attaches to this part there. Now it's a little bit tricky, but it will attach in. So if I turn this over, you need to have part of your collar hanging over like this as a seam allowance. Now we can actually put this a little bit further back. Like that. As long as you've got a bit of seam allowance there. Okay. Like so. And what we're doing is we're going to be stitching from here so you can see where the notched part starts right at this point here and we're going to be stitching along and then up to here but you need to of course when you get to this point you need to attach this in as well okay so it's actually going to look like that okay so that the whole collar will sit in there now what I do is I usually use a walking foot for this because it's a lot easier to use the, to basically work with the fabric. Okay, the walking foot and it basically attaches itself to the fabric with these parts and it doesn't sort of let go. Whereas a normal foot sort of just does this on the cloth and pulls the feed dogs as the feed dogs pull the cloth, th cloth through. But with a walking foot, it's constantly attached to the cloth. And it just gives that bit more stability when you're stitching. So if I were you, what I would do is use a walking foot for this. So like I say, what we're doing is we're attaching this and that part into there. So as you can see, I've now attached my top collar part into the lapel. And this is how it should sit. And of course, when this is attached, when that's folded back, that is the image it's going to give. So, you need to make sure that this is neatly in there. There's no sort of puckering at all, it's all neatly positioned in. And when you've got that in there like so, you need to just cut these notches in place so that we can press this flat. Now I'll just take this pin out which basically uh, showed us where the notch part is. We don't need that anymore. And we're just going to cut through our cloth, okay, up until the stitching part that you've just done. Okay, it's important that you don't go over that. What this is going to do, it's going to release the cloth when we press it down. Okay, so we can just press cut this as well into the corner like that and what this is going to do is it's going to give us enough space now to be able to press this flat okay so, so we're just gonna just cut this a little bit more just cut the pieces off there like that now the pieces I'm cutting off here are the collar part itself like that and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to be able to press this really, really neatly and flat. So now that we've trimmed that, I'm going to get my sleeve board because it's a lot easier to press on here, I find. We're just going to open up this. 
start off just by pressing it roughly like so and make sure that all of that is sitting neat okay we can just turn this over just have a look yeah I'm happy with that okay we can actually trim this a little bit more so that it's all really sitting neatly now with the clapper you just really really press this nicely in place really get this flat and it gives it a nice press and you can see that we're going to get a real nice line now turn this over again we can just press this so that it's all really neat and the flatter that you get this the more neater it's going to look because it's important that this seam is really really nice and neat now if I just take this out of the way I can show you why we need to press this really neatly because when that's folded like that this here is going to be a real nice pressed seam so it's very important that this is neatly pressed in place okay so now that we've done that and we've pressed this in place we now need to work with our other collar part okay so this is the under collar part and it's the largest piece so again that's going to sit in there like so now you see we've still got our pin here for the marked notch part that will sit on there like so and it will be attached in here so the first thing we need to do is like I said just place that as if the collar is going to be attached so this is the notched that's your notched place that on there like so now these two parts here are the parts which we need to fold over okay so what you can do is just put a pin here and put a pin here just to know which sides that are marked which we're going to fold over these parts here we don't need and of course this is the top part which will disappear into the shoulder seam but these parts are the parts that we're going to fold over now that once that we've got these two parts we can turn this over take this pin out and just press this part here like that okay work with the clapper and this part here as well which we marked we need to fold as well like so just fold these okay like that turn this over and again press it on this side like so now now that we've got these two parts pressed over like that what we need to do is we need to stitch these down now this is why I use the walking foot because it easily just goes over bulk like this with no problems at all so what we're doing is we're stitching from here down to here and across here and we're just stitching on the edge making sure that this is caught down and it's going to keep this nice and flat okay and of course you're going to get a row of stitching across that side only so stitch from here to this point here so as you can see I've now stitched across here and I've caught these raw edges in place we folded them over and that's going to just hold that neatly in place so we just press this like 
like that. Okay. And what happens, the reason why we folded those parts over is because when this is attached to our collar part there, it just finishes it all off. There's no raw edges at all. And of course this is going to be hand stitched, a combination of hand stitched and machine stitched in. But that just finishes that off when it's attached to here. So the next part, again what you can do is you can mark off where the notched part is, just to remember that, which of course is here. We're just going to turn this over and again turn this part over like that. And we're going to be attaching our collar part, the two collar parts, together. Like so. Now I'm just going to turn this over because it's a lot easier. Now make sure that these are together really neatly. Okay, so that the angle here is nice. If this sticks out a little bit, doesn't matter at all, that will disappear into the shoulder seam completely. Okay, so don't worry about that. The most important parts are the fact that this is angled the same for both the top and under collar parts. So when you've attached those together there, what we need to do is we need to be stitching from here. So of course this part here is folded in. So catching that folded part in across here to the corner here and then across to this point here. Okay, so we're catching all of this in. So from here to the top and then across here. And we're doing it one centimeter in for our seam allowance. Okay, so we've attached now the two collar parts together across here. Caught this part down, the raw edge down. And it looks like that. So this overhangs, of course. What we can do is just trim any raw edges or any thread ends here off the edge. Make sure that that's all very neat. And the next part is we're going to trim into the corner. Because, of course, this is going to be a corner point. So just cut that like so. And simply turn this through. So just manipulate into the corner like that. And as you can see, that will neatly sit on there. Now of course this part we can trim back like that. We don't want that showing. Okay, it needs to be all really neat. Just manipulate this with your fingers and press this down. Like that. So that means we've now attached our collar onto the lapel. And as you can see, that's formed now our notched. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to just fold this over the lapel and of course this here needs to be straight which will attach into the shoulder. Okay, and what we can do is just press this like so. So that we're, what we're doing is we're getting a line here. Fold this so you can see your actual line. And put some pins in here to attach the collar down like that. Okay, now those pins are right through the whole cloth, but if I turn this over, you cannot see they're on the other side. So if that's the case, that means when we stitch this, we won't see any stitching when we're wearing the waistcoat. And what it does is it helps us attach this collar part in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stitching across here and then across to here, but don't go beyond this crease point. 
Otherwise, what will happen is you're going to get stitching, which will come through this side, and it's going to show. So we're stitching from here, and then down to about here, and then I would stop just before the crease mark, go back up a little bit, and then across here, and then back up this side. Okay, and what that'll do is it'll attach our collar in place, and then there's the smallest amount of top stitching to do. So I'm just going to stitch this part in place right now. So I've now stitched my collar part in place, and that's all neatly stitched in. And of course, when that's pressed over like that, it's going to really, really have this neat notch collar lapels design and of course as you can see we've got stitching through the whole waistcoat on this side but it will not show through this side which is what you want of course this is the part which is going to be showing when you're wearing the waistcoat so of course no stitching is showing through at all so the, na the, the last part what we need to do is just just stitch this by hand okay so you need to just get a needle and thread and we're just going to carefully stitch this by hand. Okay, but make sure that you do not go through this side because the stitching then will show. And you don't want that, okay? So just, just carefully stitch across here, stitching this collar part in depth, collar part down, and it gets rid of any raw edges and neatens up your collar and lapel combination. So we're just going to stitch along to the edge. Okay, Only a small part of hand stitching, not much at all. Make sure that everything is really, really neat. Like I said, that there's no thread sticking out, there's no raw edges. Make sure that that's all really, really neatly stitched in place. And of course, when you hand stitch, you can manipulate it that if there is any raw edges sticking out, you can just fold them in, hide them in between the two seams, and then stitch down as you go. Okay, so that now is all neatly stitched in place. And as you can see, we've now attached our collar onto the lapel. So the last thing what you need to do is make sure that all of this is really neat and of course that the lapel break line here so basically the line of where your collar and lapel starts to break, starts to fold over you need to make sure that this is the same on both sides on the left and right hand side of your waistcoat and when you've got that break point in the correct place just press down your collar and lapel and then you can just attach a pin in here like that and we're going to be stitching just on the edge across here to this point here and what that does is it just catches in our collar okay so for instance if I put a pin there like that it's going to act as if it's the seam where this disappears into the lining and that's just attached like that and it will always stay in the folded down position okay very much like a jacket okay but of course this disappears into the lining whereas a jacket doesn't the collar goes right round the back and right round to the other side so just stitch from here to this point here finishing off our lapel and collar so what I've done is I've now put both of my front panels on the mannequin and as you can see the lapel and collar parts are now complete. They're in exact alignment here and of course the break point here where the collar starts to fold is in the same place as the underside. Okay, So that is the same length here and here. So we have now completed our front panels completely and we're now ready to start constructing the back panels okay so we're going to be putting the uh, clasps in the back we're going to be attaching the back panels together before we can attach all of the panels together to complete our waistcoat so if you've done your collars and your lapels like that then well done because it can be a little tricky 
And like I say, we're now ready to go onto the back panels. So I will see you in the next video very soon.